guys, welcome to another video. One of our uh, subscribers, Barry, asked a question the other night, and it was actually a really good one, and I don't know why we didn't think about it before, but he said uh, he just recently picked up a, a Volvo HDT to haul his fifth wheel with, and he was going to go on his first long trip and wasn't sure if he should need any special tools or, or anything special to take along with an HDT as a toter. So we thought, well, you know, that's a really good question, and this video is going to tell you what we carry on the road for our HDT hauler and our fifth wheel. Three, two, one, action. So if you've been following our channel much, you know that this is a 2016 Western Star 5700XE truck. It has a 10-speed automatic with double overdrive, and we left it in duels. And the bed was custom made by the previous owner, Richard Oder, and he did a terrific job on the bed, and we like it really well. Now to answer the question, do we have to carry anything special uh, for the truck while we're on the road, the answer really is no, we really don't. I'm not a mechanic, I'm not a diesel mechanic, but I do tinker and, and I can fix certain things. So I do carry a set of tools with me that will get us by on the road. But I don't carry anything special, but I will show you what we carry and why we carry it. So with this with this truck, we have what most truckers call a jockey box. And I have two of them, one on the driver's side, one on the passenger side. This one on this side carries most of the tools that I use on the road. The first thing is probably the most important to us, and we use it almost daily when we're, when we're traveling. And that is our air compressor. This is a Viair and I'll, lay, I'll put a link in the description, but this is our 12 volt air compressor. It's capable of, I believe it inflate as high as 150 pounds. My truck tires max out at 120, my fifth wheel tires max out at 125, and we use this on a regular basis. Along with the air compressor, I carry a full set of electronic tools. I carry wire strippers, I carry crimpers, I carry needle nose, I carry electrical tape, I carry uh, 12 volt, 120 volt uh, uh, VOM meter, and this will usually take care of just about anything we need done on the road, on the truck, and in the fifth wheel. So highly recommend that you get yourself a good set of of electronics tools. Now the way I carry my tools for this particular jockey box, we discovered that the see-through plastic containers from Costco that come in a six-pack works best for us. They're stackable, they're sealable, and I can organize my tools in different buckets. So this particular bucket that we have carries all of my lubricants, my cleaners, a few extra rags, a roll of paper towels, utility knife, just your basics, overall basics that, that you might need on the road. This container carries a quarter inch socket set, a variety of pliers, Crescent wrenches in different size, vice grips, etc. So that's where my my wrenches, my my pliers. That's where we carry them. This storage container carries all of my screwdrivers. I carry a full set of screwdrivers, including Torx bits, Torx drivers, and again, this is a Costco purchase, 
it came as a package. It was fairly inexpensive. I think it was 18 or 19 dollars for the full set, and we use it again all the time. This container. carries our socket sets. I carry a full set of 3-8 sockets in SAE, a full set of 3-8 sockets in metric. I carry a shallow set of half-inch drive in SAE. I carry a full set of impact deep sockets in half-inch drive. And then I also carry a half inch drive ratchets, three eighths drive ratchet, quarter inch ratchet, and other extensions. This is something that I use anytime something breaks. This is always nice to have. I carry both a quarter inch drive impact driver and a half inch drill. So I found that in the fifth wheel or even on the truck, if I've got to make repairs, sometimes I have to drill out rivets, uh, drill holes, whatever. I carry a half inch drive drill and a quarter inch drive impact gun. This has been really nice. And then a full set of impact bits, as well as a full set of, of drill bits. This container, This container carries my half inch impact driver. I use this for, say, the fifth wheel uh, pulling off. If I have to, a flat tire on the fifth wheel and I have to pull off a, uh, a, a wheel on the fifth wheel, this impact driver will do it. Again, it's a heavy-duty DeWalt. I don't remember what the foot-pound torque is, but it's, it's pretty heavy-duty, and I got some, a couple of extra batteries for it. I also carry an extra air hose. I have air attachments on the back of the truck that I can use and, and plug this into if I, if I need a, an air compressor. For the tires, and, uh, for both the truck tires, the car tires, and the trailer tires, I use that Vi-Air 12 volt compressor. But again, this is, this is nice to have. I carry, as every emergency kit should have, I carry a set of jumper cables. I carry an inexpensive torque wrench. I don't have much use for this, but if I have to change a wheel or a tire, on the fifth wheel, this is what I use. I carry a 12-ton bottle hydraulic jack. Uh, this has come in handy, especially on the fifth wheel, if I need to, to raise uh, the fifth wheel up and, and change a flat tire. That's about it for this side of the storage jockey box. As you can see, I carry quite a few hand tools that you would have normally in your garage. When we first started full-timing, my goal was to duplicate the tools I had at home in my rollaway and the tools I had on the road as much as I could. I carry a full set of, of SAE open-end wrenches, box-end wrenches, a full set of metric open-ended box-end wrenches as well as, as miscellaneous pliers and uh, crescent wrenches. This is the driver's side jockey box, and on this side, I don't have any hand tools, but I have a lot of the other things that we use. I carry my chemicals. I use wash and wax all. Crud cutter works great on, on diesel tanks when they get dirty and I'm trying to wash the truck. I always carry spare oil, uh, just in case. my wash bucket for the truck, the trailer, the car. This is where all my liquids are stored, uh, such as the, the roof cleaner, the rubber roof cleaner, the hydraulic fluid for the hydraulic jacks and the fifth wheel. I carry a variety of ratchet straps and bungee cords. You never know when you're going to need them. 
And again, they tuck away very nicely in these Costco containers, so they organize extremely well inside the jockey box. I've got my grease gun. It's a mini grease gun uh, with a mini cartridge. I use that uh, to grease up the fifth wheel, um, the independent suspension on the fifth wheel, and anything else that has grease zerks on it. Along with the electrical tools that you saw on the other side, this bag carries uh, fuses, different uh, electrical connectors. This bin I have miscellaneous wire and connectors again for electrical. I'm finding uh, wire ties. Uh, I'm, I'm finding I'm always using wire ties or having to patch electrical whatever if I've got a project going on on the truck or in the trailer. It's nice to have these so I don't have to go buy them. This is something that every truck owner needs to have and carry with them. Uh, the triangle caution bars that you put out on the road should you have to pull off on the shoulder. Uh, I carry three of them and I put them, if, if I have to use them, I, I set them alongside the shoulder of the road uh, to notify people that they need to move over. And the other thing you might want to carry when you're when you're dealing with a heavy-duty truck is a, a box of, of latex gloves. Um, the fuel pumps at, at uh, truck stops, well, any diesel fuel pump can get really dirty and really filthy, as you will know. I just usually put one on my right hand, and I use it to, to grab the, the, the diesel pump uh, and fill up the truck, pull off the cap. That always gets your hands dirty, so I just put one glove on fill up then when I'm done I can just peel it off throw it in the garbage and away we go so this is something if you own a diesel truck this is probably something you want to consider carrying with you as I started at the first of this video when Barry posted the question of what do we carry specific for the truck uh, really the only thing that we carry specific for the truck are extra engine belts this truck has two serpentine belts on the engine and I have a replacement, a brand new replacement belt for each of the serpentine belts. Uh, so if, if we do happen to break a belt running down the road, um, I, can, I can replace it with one of these, these new serpentine belts. Speaking of emergencies on the side of the road, let's be honest, if I get a flat tire on this HDT I'm not going to be able to pull off the side of the road and change it out myself even with the tools I have. Um, there's just no way. So what I would suggest you folks do is take a look at an emergency roadside service plan. We did a lot of research, we did a lot of investigating, we did a lot, made a lot of phone calls and we decided to go with Family Motor Coach Association's roadside service, FMCA. I debated on whether to go with FMCA's or Escapees or CoachNet. Uh, we decided to go with FMCA. They require us to have a separate policy for the truck, a separate policy for the fifth wheel. But if, if I get into trouble and I have a, a flat tire on the side of the road or I have to be towed to the nearest service facility, they will tow this truck to the nearest service facility for me uh, to get the repairs done. And that's very important to us. I think it's money well spent. So. Do your research, take a look at what your needs are, and, and find yourself a, a good emergency roadside service plan. Another thing that we carry on the truck is a tire pressure monitor system. I have a TPMS that has 10 sensors, six for the truck, four for the coach, and I can monitor the air pressure while we're running down the road constantly. If, if there's a spike in, in pressure or there's a spike in tire temperature, it's going to alert me and I can keep an eye on it or I can pull off the side of the road and take care of, of whatever needs to be taken care of. We've personally had three blowouts on fifth wheels and it's not a whole lot of fun. And I've seen pictures of blowouts on fifth wheels that have tore up the whole side of the coach and it can get quite expensive. So a TPMS in my opinion is, is pretty inexpensive insurance. Another thing that we carry on our truck is an RV style GPS. We carry the Garmin RV760. Uh, it allows us to put the height of the coach, the length of our rig, uh, combined length of our rig, the weight of our rig, and it will reroute us around tunnels, around underpasses, around roads that we're not supposed to be on automatically. So an RV style GPS for us has gotten us out of a couple of, of jams and I, I think it's something worth looking into as well. 
Couple other things that we carry on the road, a ladder. I carry a 16 foot foldable ladder that, that breaks down and folds into, into four foot sections. I can extend it out and make it an eight foot A-frame to help wash on the coach and help me wash the truck. Or I can extend it out the full 16 foot length and lean it up against the side of the coach and get up there and clean off the roof, clean off the solar panels, do whatever I need up there. I'm not a real big fan of RV ladders. I know that they're supposed to be able to hold me, but uh, I, as, as many times as I go up and down, I'm just afraid I'm going to jiggle it and, and we're going to end up with a water leak issue and, and I don't want that. So we carry a, a ladder with us as well. One more item that is very nice to have, especially on the HDT, is a backup camera. This truck came with a backup camera. It failed shortly after we bought the truck. I went online and found a replacement. I can't believe how inexpensive they are. It's really, really inexpensive to buy a backup camera nowadays. So, you know, if, if it, it allows me to, to back up and hook up uh, without Kelly as a spotter. Normally she's there as a spotter, but I don't need her. I can hook the, the coach up uh, without her with that backup camera. It also allows me, if I'm bobtailing, to put it on the back of the truck. And if I'm backing into a site or into a space, I can tell how close or how far away I am and how much further I have to go. I hope this video was informative. Uh, we just showed you the things that we carry, uh, nothing really specific for the HDT. Uh, these are all items that we would carry normally whether we had the HDT or not. So uh, I hope you found it informative. I hope you, you found some, some items that maybe you hadn't thought of. I'd really like to see some comments if I miss some things, and I know I have, I know I'm not carrying at all, but if there's some things that I miss that you carry that you think are important, leave a comment below. We'd, we'd really like to hear it, and uh, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd love to take a look at your thoughts. If you learned something from it, that's great. Consider giving us a thumbs up, and uh, if you haven't already, consider subscribing to our channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great week. Now go explore.